Hello Internet Allies! So as it's World Autism Awareness Week and as I am somebody that is on the autistic spectrum I kind of wanted to make a video talking about some of the positive ways autism impacts my life and what I've learnt from the positive ways that autism impacts my life basically. I think the reason I wanted to do this is because over the years I've met a lot of other people that are on the autism spectrum and to be honest I've seen them do a lot of amazing stuff and I feel like I kind of want to talk to you guys about some of my favourite things about being autistic and stuff because to be honest, being autistic isn't really anything to really be ashamed of really, it just means that basically I might need to learn things in a different way or I think in a slightly different way or some things may bother me that other people might not be so bothered by and vice versa, there might be some things that I'm not too bothered about that other people might be bothered about. But yeah, but autism isn't all bad, so that's why I wanted to make this video. So here we go! I think my favourite thing about the autistic spectrum is how diverse it is, how like no two people on the autistic spectrum are the same and I think this is something I really wish I realised when I was a bit younger because when I was younger I used to compare myself a lot with other people, especially other people with autism that may be doing a bit better than I am or maybe coping a bit better than I am, but then I realised that there are maybe some qualities that I have that they don't but then again there's some qualities that they may have that I don't. You know, for example, you know, I actually might feel compa more compassion and empathy compared to some other autistic people but then some other autistic people might be more confident than I am and more confident in social situations or in other situations in general or have better coping strategies than I do and that's perfectly fine really to be honest. Everybody's different and that includes people on the autistic spectrum and while there are some similar traits among the autistic spectrum I have a form of high functioning autism known as Asperger syndrome but there are so many other different forms of autism as well. Basically everybody has their own strengths, everybody has their own weaknesses. So another positive I've noticed about autism is that the people I've met that have autism have been some of the most interesting and exciting people I've ever met. I've never met one autistic person and thought they were boring at all. And this is something I wish I realised when I was a bit younger as well because in social situations because I wasn't the most loud or the first to speak up I was worried I was a little bit boring but I don't think that's the case at all, really, to be honest. I think, in my own little way, you know, I am interesting. Um, and I think another thing that is so great and so interesting about people with autism is how they're able to make like anything that they're passionate about sound exciting. You know, they can make you feel as excited as they are about something that they're really interested in. I think it's just lovely seeing an autistic person like light up when they find something that they're interested in or are able to talk or do something about something that they're really interested in. For example, I was like really excited about making this video. Um, other autistic people may be so interested in like cars or Disney or what other things, maybe sports maybe, all sorts of stuff. A lot of autistic people do like to share their own ideas, a lot of autistic people are quite creative and imaginative and I think I'm included in this as well because you know I like to think of my YouTube videos I make are quite creative and imaginative as well and you know I get really passionate about what videos I'm going to make as well as also other ideas you know I, I love like you know maybe doing a drawing of something or or yeah just thinking of anything really to basically film or draw or maybe like make a little picture on Photoshop or something like that or or I just love finding inspiration as well from different areas as well. So I also think with autistic people's passion and hobbies and interest and creativity I don't think 
it's easy for autistic people to feel bored. You know, if they may be having a quiet time, they may be actually thinking about, you know, ways to cope. Maybe they're recovering or maybe they maybe are thinking of like new ideas or or like maybe like their favourite TV show or favourite sport or favourite celebrity or well basically yeah what they're going to do next or what they're going to do what they want for tea or something maybe I don't know I, I don't think there's really ever a dull moment with an autistic person some people with autism may not understand some forms of humour such as for me like sometimes I don't really understand metaphors sometimes like I know I don't really understand where some of them come from either <laughs> but to be honest like I think autistic people have a great sense of humour. Some of the humour may be of an acquired taste, but autistic people, they just want to have fun just like everybody else. But yeah, like autistic people do have a cracking sense of humour and stuff. You know, like a lot of autistic people do make me laugh with jokes that they tell me or if they come up with like silly puns or something like that, it's great. You know, it's always fun to see, like, hearing, like, an autistic person laugh. I also think that autistic people are often very genuine, and you'll often know where you stand within an autistic person, you know, and I think they're very good at telling you how they're feeling, even if they don't actually use words to do so. Basically, you can always often tell how an autistic person is feeling. If they're feeling like content and comfortable, you know, they, they'll be really happy and what have you. And if they're not so comfortable, then, you know, you can probably tell possibly due to body language or something. Maybe they don't know how to say they're uncomfortable or whatever. I like to know where I stand with people and what have you. And I, and I like to know how people are feeling and how people are feeling around me and stuff. So, so I sort of, can try to sort of adapt to that situation. Autistic people may not always show this, but they are really caring and compassionate towards the people they care about, such as close friends and family. They'll basically be incredibly fiercely loyal to, to those people. And it is so rewarding, basically, having somebody, or anybody feeling comfortable around you, really. But I think especially so with somebody with autism because I think, you know, you've definitely made an impression you've definitely helped them in some way, I think, as well. Again, another positive about autism is that I feel like they're less likely to compromise who they are to fit in. However, I do feel like autistic people do want to be accepted for who they are. So that's it for my positives about autism list. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, if you did, please give a thumbs up and yeah, if you want to see more videos from me, I don't always post videos about autism, like I post videos about things I'm interested in, such as driving, singing, Harry Potter, etc. Like, if you're interested in any of those things, be sure to check out my channel and click on subscribe. So, um, thanks again for watching. Until next time, team was blasting off again. Bye-bye.